world's largest country of an individual of Secretary President Bola Mekriko Jim Depart is unveiled to the world on this historic occasion of the 2024 Democracy Day celebration. Once again, the largest portrait ever painted, never seen anywhere in the world. Thank you. Next will be the advancing review order by the parade. Parade Commander Sir. The says announcing the arrival of the very special guest of honor, Review Officer, President Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Excellency Akiwa Jubola Amechinubu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, GCFR. Just received there by the Commander Guards Brigade. Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, Chief of the Nawa Staff, Chief of Air Staff, and the Inspector General of Police. Please, if you are still sitting within the arena, rise on your feet, please. In absolute deference to its exalted officers, very visible person of police. Thank you. When the band of parade renders the national anthem, Officer Wanda Mutin is pleased to salute. Thank you.
Reveal Officer, Present Commander in Chief of Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Special Envoy Ashuaju Bola Ametinubu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic of the Parade Commander, Lieutenant Colonel M.A. Yusuf, now marching from the hall back towards the saluting days to give uh, uh, the state submit state of parade to Mr. President and to very diligent. The parade state diligently delivered there by the parade command, a former senator and two-term governor of Lagos State, a founding member and national leader of Nigeria's governing party, the All Progressive Congress, and now the president, commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, after emerging victorious during the last general election. In 1979, Excellency Ashwagi Bola Machinubu obtained a degree in business administration, accounting and management from Chicago State University, Illinois, USA. He was from Chicago State University Dean Smith throughout the state at the university and won an outstanding student award and also backed a certificate of merit in accounting and finance. In his final year, he emerged president of Chicago State University Accounting Society. Uh, wise action in maintaining his political party as the patriotic opposition helped to rescue multi-party electoral democracy in Nigeria. With this contribution alone, uh, he helped Nigeria to keep to the path leading towards good governance human rights and prosperity for all. While Nigeria still has a long distance to reach these objectives, it could have come towards a less just and democratically uh, democratic evolution were it not for the sacrifice, persistence, and bravery of the excellency After losing the 2011 presidential election, Alaji Shwajibola Tinubu and other notable projectives, including the nation's uh, immediate past president, Muhammad Buhari, resolved to establish a coalition party, the APC, which in 2015 achieved the impossible by defeating a sitting president for the first time in Nigeria's political history. As each day passes by, uh, Excellency Tinubu thinks new strategy options and style in both politics and governance. He envisions the, and uses with deep reflection the Nigerian problem as well as the best approach possible. He knows politics much as he understands the game of power. Indeed, the Excellency Chinubu uh, democratic footprint go beyond Nigeria. They span the continent, especially in the immediate West African subregion where he has contributed personal resources, advice and support to help sustain democracy and popular participation in many of the region's uh, emerging democracies. Uh, the virtues of courage and a strong sense of purpose that have characterized His Excellency Bola Metinubu's politics drove his emergence as one of Nigeria's most successful governors after Nigeria's return to democratic governance 20 years ago. His stewardship of Lagos State between 1999 and 2007 remains a reference for good governance in Nigeria and across the region. Uh, his continued presence as an elder in Lagos State politics has uh, helped endure continuity in the governance and led to growth and development in the state, which is simply incomparable with any other state of the country. A brief look of this uh, resume of uh, His Excellency Mr. President. Next will be the resume of uh, the 
ABC to reach a certain level. Now, the microphone, please go back to my co announcer, Captain Bob Janabiagapa. Captain Papa, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Paul Abarita. Your Excellencies, most distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It may also interest you to know that the aide come to the president is Lieutenant Colonel Louis Lee Alon Yusuf, who was born on the 22nd November 1979 in Ilamona town and hails from Oyu local government area of Kara State. He was at the prestigious Nigerian Defense Academy Cardinal from 2000 to 2005 and the prestigious Royal Military Academy Sanhos, United Kingdom from 2004 to 2005 and subsequently granted regular combatant commission as second lieutenant in 2005 into the Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps. He holds a Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical and Electronic Engineering from the Nigerian Defense Academy and several other academic qualifications including a postgraduate diploma in peace studies and conflict re resolution and masters of art in defense studies. We have also attended several military courses. Some of these are security investigation course, Nigerian Army Intelligence School in Lagos, Junior Staff Course, Nanjing, China, Officers Advanced Intelligence Course, Pakistan, Advanced Command and Staff Course, Shrivenham, United Kingdom, and Commanding Officers Course, Jaji. Lieutenant Colonel Yusuf is a fellow of the United Kingdom Chartered Management Institute, member of the Common Club Defense Academy of the United Kingdom, King's College Alumni Community, and member of the Nigerian Army Resource Center. He has served, held several staff command and instructional appointments. He was a senior instructor at the Nigerian Army School of Infantry before being appointed as the aide de camp to Mr. President in May 2023. Distinguished guests, senior officers, ladies and gentlemen, that has been an abridged version of the aid to come to Mr. President. Once more, the microphone should go right to my co-announcer, Mr. Paul Abarita. Mr. Paul Abarita, please. Captain, thank you, Captain Godfrey. 25th Democracy Day celebration here at the Eagle Square, Abuja. We hear that shortly. Permission diligently sought there by a parade commander, Lieutenant Colonel M.A. Yusuf, and presidentially given by the very special guest of honor, Review Officer, President Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Excellency Achiwaju Bola Amepinubu GCSR. Excellency, please can we rise, please, as his Excellency comes uh, to take his seat. Shortly, we're going to witness. The march passed in slow and quick time by the officers and guards on parade and of course accompanied by the color party. Promises to be exciting, entertaining, and what we while of your challenge. World largest country of an individual of the President President Bola Mekinuku Jim Jetman is unveiled to the world on this historic occasion of the 2024 Democracy Day celebration. Once again, the largest portrait ever painted, never seen anywhere in the world. Thank you. Next will be the advancing review order by the parade. Parade Commander, sir.
May I, at this juncture, very, very diligently request the commander, Gaz Brigade, Brigadier General Edo Anosha, to please request the Special Deputy Colonel to proceed uh, to carry out uh, the signing of the Democracy Day Register by Mr. President. The Marine Commander, sir, uh, with Commander Gaz. Next will be the three happy chairs, the Mr. President, please remain standing for this option. One person in the street for you, three happy chairs, I mean.
Thank you, God bless. God is looking back to your